In this video, I'm gonna share with you two different ways to add fractions with unlike denominators. In this first example, what we're going to do is use common multiples to find common denominators. So we're going to look at the two denominators that are given in the current fractions. Our first fraction is 3 fourths, and our second fraction is 2 thirds. So we're going to list out the multiples of 4 and 3 to determine what multiples they have in common. Let's look at fours. So to think about finding a common multiple, you want students to basically skip count by four. So if we start with four and we skip count by fours, the next multiple of four is eight. The next one will be 12, 16, 20, and 24. Of course there is more, but we'll stop there to see what the four and three have in common with these first six. So we'll do the same thing for the three. Three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18. So for the first six multiples of four and three, let's see what do they have in common. So if you look at them closely, we see that they both have 12 as a multiple in common. So we're gonna go with that. If we were to go beyond the 24 and the 18, we would see that they have more multiples in common and those could be used as well. So we're gonna start here by showing that our new fraction or our equivalent fraction to both of these that have the same denominator, we're gonna use the 12, that common multiple as their common denominator. So now we need to figure out what the new numerators are going to be. If the denominator was changed, then the numerator, numerator will change as well. So we can start with the two thirds. Three times what number equals 12? So we look at the three, the multiples of three. If we skip count, one, two, three, four, four groups of three equals 12. So three times four or four times three equals 12. And if we multiply the denominator by four, we need to multiply that numerator by four as well. So if three times four is 12, then two times four is eight. So that shows us that two thirds is equivalent to eight twelfths. Let's do the same thing for this top fraction. Three fourths, so four times what number equals 12? If students don't know it right away, they can come over to their list of multiples and see that one, two, three groups of four equals 12. So four times three, or again, three times four is equal to 12. Let's do the same with the numerator, three times three. Again, our fraction that we're multiplying it by should be equivalent to one whole. So three times three is nine. So we can see that three fourths is equivalent to nine twelfths. Now that our denominators are the same or common or alike, we can now add them together. Nine twelfths plus eight twelfths equals 17 twelfths. With example number two, we're going to be adding 7 twelfths plus 5 eighths. So again, our denominators are different. We need to find equivalent fractions to both fractions that give us a common or like denominator. So again, we're going to use common multiples to find a common denominator. So we're going to list out the 12s and the 8. And see what they have in common. So we have 12, 24, 36, 48, 60. And let's use the 8s. 8, 16, 24, 32, 40. So here we only listed out five multiples for each. We can see that they both have the number 24 as a common multiple. So we're gonna use that 24 as a common denominator. So similar to example one, we know our resulting equivalent fraction is going to have 24 as the denominator for both fractions. So looking at five eighths, five or eight, which is our denominator times what number 
equals 24. Again, if students don't know it, they can look at their list of multiples and think, look at how many groups or jumps of eight gets to 24. So it's one, two, three jumps of eight. So eight times three is 24. We're gonna repeat that same step with our numerator and our fraction that we multiplied it by should have the same numerator and denominator, which means it's equal to one whole. Five times three is 15. So our equivalent fraction for five eighths is 15 24ths. Seven twelfths. 12 times what number equals 24? Let's look at our list of multiples. One, two, two groups of 12 equals 24. So 12 times two is 24. Seven times two equals 14. Now that our denominators are the same, we can add them together. 14 24 plus 15 24 equals 29 24. Yes, the sum for these fractions are resulting in a fraction greater than one, also known as an improper fraction. If you or your students don't know how to convert fractions greater than one into mixed numbers, I have a video on showing four different ways to convert fractions greater than one into mixed numbers, so check those out. Another option for adding fractions with unlike denominators or different denominators is to take the two denominators and multiply them and you'll find a common denominator a little more quickly or efficiently. So we're going to take three fourths and two thirds. So our denominators are four and three. So we know four times three is 12. So we know that our new denominator will be 12. And then we can think about if four times what is 12, we know four times three is 12. So we're gonna multiply the three times three as well. And we'll get nine twelfths. And we'll do the same thing for the two thirds. So three times what equals 12? Well, three times four is 12. So let's do the same thing for the numerator. Two times four is eight. Okay, so now that our fraction, our denominators are the same or common, we can add them together. 9 twelfths plus 8 twelfths is 17 twelfths. So here's our second example again, but this time we're going to be multiplying the denominators together instead of listing out the common multiple. So we have 12 as a denominator and 8 as a denominator. So we know that 12 times 8 equals 96. So our new denominator will be 96. Now what is our new numerator? So if 12 times what equals 96, we know 12 times 8 is 96. So we have to do the same thing to our numerator. 7 times 8 is 56. So 7 twelfths is equivalent to 56 96. And for 5 eighths, we know that 8 times 12 is 96. So we're going to do the same thing for our numerator. 5 times 12 equals 60. So 5 eighths is equivalent to 60, 96. So we're going to add those together. So here we again, we have those larger denominators because we multiplied the denominator. So that is an option. It is a great setup for students to learn how to simplify their fractions as well. So we're gonna add 5696 plus 6096 together and we get 116 as our new numerator and we keep our denominator the same. 7 twelfths plus 5 eighths also equals out to 116 96. 